How's everybody doing? <laughs> Me too. I am also. Because <laughs> we're just two days from Thanksgiving. And I want to take this time to mention something I'm thankful for. Donald Trump. <laughs> because he gives all of us on TV something to talk about. He's all over the newscasts. He was on SNL. And if you turn on CBS right now, there's some guy talking about Donald Trump. <laughs> but now... <laughs> but now, Trump is getting a lot of heat for something he said about Muslim Americans' reaction to the attacks on 9-11. Hey, I watched when the World Trade Center came tumbling down. And I watched in Jersey City, New Jersey, where thousands and thousands of people were cheering as that building was coming down. You know, the police say that didn't happen at all. Those rumors have been on the internet for some time. So did you meek misspeak it did yesterday? Happen. I saw it. There were people over in New Jersey that were watching it, a heavy Arab population that were cheering as the buildings came down. Not good. No, not good. Also, not true. But... <laughs> but if it was, he was apparently the only person who ever saw it because there is no evidence the alleged celebration ever took place. And I had my crack footage team look for it. Nothing. I gotta tell you, my guys are the best. Anything I name, they can find it instantly. Here's a challenge. Uh... Let's see, can you guys find uh, a woman giving a psychic reading to a possum? Mm -hmm. Yes. Boom! <laughs> Two possums. <laughs> and yet, Trump claims that he saw it. And, and he has evidence. Donald Trump will be speaking here in just a few minutes. He called me late today to once again defend his claims, telling me that although he doesn't remember where exactly he saw that video, he does know he saw it because he has, quote, the world's greatest memory. That's right. That's right. He can't remember exactly where he saw that video, but he can remember that he has the world's greatest memory. And... And Trump doesn't just have a perfect memory of the past. When it comes to the terror threats facing our country, he can also see into the future. I wrote a book in 2000. And in the book, I mentioned Osama bin Laden. I said, bad guy, he's going to do damage to our country, and we better do something to stop him. I said, Osama bin Laden is going to try and come in and do some big damage. Don't forget, in my book written in 2000, I was the one that predicted Osama bin Laden was trouble. If you read the book, it says Osama bin Laden. Yes. <laughs> Trump predicted that Osama bin Laden was threatening America all the way back in the year 2000, the same year bin Laden was linked to the bombing of the USS Cole and only two years after bin Laden was indicted for the embassy bombings in Tanzania and Kenya, and only seven years after bin Laden was implicated in the 1993 World Trade Center bombing. That's spooky. It's like Trump has some kind of fifth sense that lets him see what's in newspapers and on TVs. And... And... Nostra Donald's not the only one with this power. <laughs> Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I will attempt to predict the predictable. <laughs> I will now commune with the occult powers so I may know the known. Yes, something's coming, something's coming. Next year, there will be an iPhone 7. <laughs> and, and then right after that, an iPhone 7S, <laughs> which will be almost exactly the same, but for some reason, you will buy that too. <laughs> hey, I'm getting something, something cold. A, a frozen yogurt shop in your neighborhood will open and close within the next year.
James? Author James Patterson will publish a book that may be purchased at the airport. <laughs> Let's kick this up a notch. Hold on one second. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> the weather is about to get colder, <laughs> followed by a warming trend in the spring, <laughs> and then a heat wave in the summer. The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 will be playing this Friday at the Times Square AMC at 6.45, 9.15, and 11 p.m. Peace in the Middle East is pretty darn unlikely. <laughs> Stephen Colbert will lose his fortune cookie prop. <laughs> and then he will find it moments later. Mm, let's see here, let's see here, yes. Yes, yes, oh, yes. Oh, hold on, mm, yes. Uh, crowds will continue to be easy to pander to, especially here in New York City, the greatest city in the world. <laughs> No matter what he says or does, Donald Trump will still do pretty well in the polls. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh my God. Oh, I was in a trance there for a while, excuse me. Uh, that is hard. I don't see how Donald Trump keeps doing it. You know, I, I wonder if Donald is getting help from that psychic possum on his head. <laughs> We'll be right back with Spike Lee.